Greetings and welcome to my channel, Meta Messiah. And I'm really excited about this Okanami video because I feel like in the images I'm gonna present here in, you get to see something on the blockchain, which is not just significant, but it is what I would consider a trading or transactional anomaly that makes zero sense from the standpoint of an investor or a trader but it is rather somebody who is doing something on the blockchain to send a very powerful message. And what I'm about to present to you is how on the Okanami uh, tokens transactions with this, particular, with this particular wallet, there's some heavy wallets some big wallets doing some things and based on the quantity of the Okanami tokens purchased, they actually as an ordinal spell Ryoshi. So, um, we're going to go through that here in just a moment. Uh, I would like to, uh, first of all, defend myself to some comments on my 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 studio here, where people are like, "What? what what's going on?" And I'm like, "This is my art studio. This is where I do a lot of things, um, like a painting back here. I've been working on for quite some time. Um, you might have seen my archery bows and whatnot." Uh, that I work on. It's, it's a workshop, okay? Uh, I know I don't have the fancy microphone and set up to look like I'm broadcasting on crypto news or like Coindesk or whatever that guy's name is. Um, and uh, like other YouTubers like Austin Hilton or Zach Humphries, I'm not, I'm not presenting from some tropical place or vacation I'm on. Um, that's not my style. I'm just here to tell a story and to look at evidence and to present it and to give my opinion, to give my analysis, and naturally none of, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only, and I think I'm covering one of the most entertaining blockchain crypto stories from 2022 to 2023. It's great content for YouTube. I mean, I'm surprised not more watching this, but maybe it's just the algorithm, I don't know. We've had plenty of LARPs, we've had plenty of scams, people fleecing you. Um, as we've seen with Shiba Inu and how many token projects came out following Shiba Inu. And as you can see, there's been so many, uh, there's, there's been so many projects out there that uh, simply, that's my son going probably to the bathroom. Um, there, there's been so many projects out there um, from the past who have, basically scam the public. Some of them were just failed projects. But all these people trying to say we're like SHIB. All these projects trying to say they're like Ryoshi, so on and so forth. Okay, um, but let me stop there, okay? And we're gonna put up some images here about Okanami and I want you really to pay attention. Gonna change camera angle here as well because <laughs> I have some notes here on my notepad. And I'm gonna put up some images like I said, but going back to uh, what I was saying before, we had tons of these like tokens, which were um, both honest attempts, but also dishonest attempts back during the bull run with Shiba Inu. And we saw a lot of people lose money. I, I talk about in the Telegram all the time, a project I'm not a big fan of was uh, Saitama. And I saw some big YouTube influencers on here that I, I was listening to their advice about it. and. They were talking about Saitama, and I was doing my own due diligence. Um, and I was just like, well, this all looks very interesting, but something didn't sit right in my stomach about it. I had this gut feeling something was off. After I saw um, that the developers of Saitama did not really seem to have much more than just paid for marketing, but not really deep pockets financing this project, I could see the product of Cytomask was just like, okay, that looks like something that a college student could have put together with a minimal budget and it like doesn't work. You know, I'm like, this is some crappy um, uh, development here, this app or website. And then I saw their, their, their AMA live in Las Vegas and what a big failure it was. And I'm just like, who's behind this? I was like, they just like basically looked like a bunch of amateurs. And, you know, 
I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, they kept saying that they, what they were going to do and they never delivered on it like Shiba Inu did. Um, and it, it went through a huge, huge boom and bust. And it's, you know, a, a, a V2 now, maybe a V3 coming for all I know, version one to version two to version three. That's problematic. Um, it was different. It'd be different if the version one to two was because the version one was just a sales token and that version two was actually a utility token. No, that's not the case. So let me put this image up first and, and by comparison show you on a not doxed project. Okonami is not doxed. No, no white paper, no roadmap, just a mention of it on a Twitter account um, from the developer. And yet, um, lots of stuff going on. Um, in my previous video, you really should watch it. I'll put the link in here in the descriptions as well. But there's a bigger thing going on on the aesthetic, artistic, symbol symbolic side. But here I'm just looking at the hardcore evidence of the blockchain. And this is a wallet right around the time of the uh, surge, okay, November 2022, when the surge was posted on the blockchain message, Okanami Dev did that, within 24 minutes of Vitalik Buterin posting the updated Ethereum roadmap, okay, n announcing the surge following um, the current phase that we're in right now uh, uh, with the, the merge, um, with Ethereum and this is the, the scaling phase of Ethereum. The, the goal is 100,000 transactions per per second, presumably for ETH payment cards and crypto payment cards and, and whatnot. Uh, maybe a partnership possibly even with Visa, who knows? Um, that has been talked of before. You'll see here the ordinals of these transactions and I'll put up the ordinal, I'll put the ordinal chart so you can see where the numbers are coming from. But uh, at any rate here, um, the, the number 18 corresponds with an R, okay? The number 15 corresponds, so fi R18, Y15, O25, S19, H8, I9. So they made um, these transactions six in all one two three four five six six letters i had to count it for a second uh to be sure <laughs> second guessing myself um six transactions for quantities that ex it makes no nobody buys crypto like that for six transact your gas fees alone be like what the heck are you doing um that's not an efficient way to buy crypto we all know that um and it's not cost effective either so the, the the research group for Okanami has broken this down. And, and the funny thing is the 1,100 or 11,786, 11786, this transfer number. And that's also a number important in the blockchain. Okay, hear me out. Why it's the, the Okanami blockchain message mentions that number, I believe, or or it was in the tweet. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, either way, I think it was a blockchain message. We have we have that no, yeah blockchain message comes up. We have this odd number one one seven eight six. Well, we have an explanation for that too. Just recently, within the last I think thirty days, we come to find out that the ETH Foundation, okay, ex that same number pops up, and I'll put the article up here, and um, I'll put the the uh, portion of the article showing. Uh, uh, what that means, okay, in, in terms of the ETH Foundation and these validator nodes, and there's the number. That number, 11786, came up on the Okanami blockchain long before this was published about these validator nodes and, and what that means and so on, and this flux between centralization and decentralization um, I'm not going to go into the particulars of the article. What, what is most significant is, you know, a one one seven eight, a five digit number. The how are you gonna, how on earth is that going to be coincidence? Just like these transactions with this wallet for six transactions coming up with that quantity. Okay, and then when you add everything up for Okanami, where the blockchain ties 
from the Genesis wallet to the Okanami Deployer. Okanami Deployer wallet was created 40 days before the Shiba Inu Deployer wallet, over four years ago. And it's April 423 now. Something Somebody thinks, some people thinks, and I don't know, I hope on April 27th, um, some people think on April 27th we could see maybe the return, I'm sorry, April 17th, rather yeah on 417 people thinking Ryoshi is going to return there's all these nu numerologies happening 40 4 5 5 5 5 in suka 5 5 5 angelic number divine number hold the line at 5 mc um 5 million market cap so the number 5 once again repeats itself <laughs> okay 40, it's a divine number, has a huge significance in Christianity and in Buddhism. And then, again, 40 days. The, there's something being done at a level that is, is very cryptic. It's a cipher. It's it's just like with Dejitaro Suka, and that's why I like the token project so much and how I can juxtapose Okanami Suka to say, hey, these are not just community projects with some growth in their price. There's something fundamentally huge going on behind the scenes. And what better way to do DeFi so that the small guy, the pleb, the people have a first shot, first dibs, get the tokens at an extremely low cost so that some centralized entity or big whale or rich person, so some wealthy company or, or, or rich person, with the means don't gobble it all up and buy it and then and then it's already gone to the moon and it will stay up there until they sell and then you might get in at a better price down the road but when you're talking like exponential growth a thousand times and then maybe you see it drop like 50 percent or whatever and then it's like oh i got it there it's great no it's not nothing as good as these fair launches these stealth launches I'm convinced in many ways in my conviction, my faith that Suka and Okanami, they're both part of something huge. I'll mention Suzume here again. I'm really feeling a, I'm feeling something in my heart about them, but I haven't analyzed their evidence well enough. I'm still working on Hachi. I'm still working on Sakura. I'm, I'm still working on looking at uh, Blade and, and, uh, uh, Shirudo, um possible Suka ecosystem coins that could be LARPs on Suka, I don't know. Um, but also, uh, I, I think I feel something more about Hoichi in all this. Um, I think Hoichi has a stronger connectivity uh, with the Ryoshi narrative, um, and their community is really cool. Um, and they're doing a really cool NFT project. I'll just put one up. I'll put one up here for, for you to see it. They're actually really cool NFTs. A little bit. I'll admit they're a little bit pricey. I think. I think they started out too expensive. And then, in finishing, actually, the Okanami people. Something cool. Me and the Okanami community are doing as well. Is we have this NFT. I'll put the link in the um, in in the description. I'll do a video uh, here here this Easter weekend talking about it. These NFTs will be sold 50%. 50% of the NFTs um, revenues will go towards burning SHIB once we sell about 100 and get to our goal. The other 50% will buy Okanami, and we're going to do giveaways with the Okanami. So the more we sell, the more we can uh, uh, do things with, but we really hope to do a nice burn for the SHIB army. I think you'll really like that. I'm excited to see Shibarium happen. I could see Okanami being listed on Shibarium. But what better way to get our community um, linked to Shibarium by other than by showing we support what's going on? We'll burn some Shib. We have a really cool logo for this promotion right here. <laughs> I love it. Look at all the little Shib puppies, Shib doggies in the in the wave. And it's funny that that came. I don't know where this came from, but that I was like, hmm. Well, if you know about Shiba Inu, if you know about Ryoshi, if you know about Suka, if you know about Okanami now, and these other tokens I'm getting to, you're seeing these c connections. I think even Vitalik Buterin himself said we can't meet the needs of 100,000 transactions per second with one single solution. So the whole scaling 
of Ethereum, fast, reliable, cheap transactions will not happen until there's a web of tokens that work together in harmony. I think Tsuka and, and um, Okanami are definitely looking to do some big things. Um, Suka more of the store value, like a new incarnation of Bitcoin. And Okanami, I, it's like, I don't know yet. It, I'm thinking maybe a new incarnation of Ethereum itself, but that's just a guess. Again, not financial advice, but I keep telling people about Okanami and I'm doing these videos because I regret, I would regret holding on to this information to myself. Does it benefit you know, the holders of the token, sure it does if it promotes it and people buy it. But imagine if it is what it is and you didn't tell anybody. And then it became like another Shiba Inu like story. And they're like, people are like, why didn't you tell me about that? Some, for some people, it can be like, well, I did tell you. <laughs> you. You didn't believe it. Dang it. Why didn't I get some back then? That's a lot of that's a lot of life regret. Not not listening to your heart, not listening to your gut. And in the end, that's all you really can do is listen to your heart, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, but do your own research. Be a rationalist. Be rational-minded. Never do things based on emotion. Have a strategy. Have an entry strategy and an exit strategy. Know how to protect yourself. Okay? I it, The minute I see a huge red, red flag, the minute I see something about Okanami that tells me it's all just bogus, I will tell you. I'll be like, I hate to do this to the community, but I gotta tell you, I don't like what I see. And I will tell you, I haven't gotten there yet. The biggest thing recently that happened was people fudding the token because Suka's, uh, Dejitara Suka's contract and Okanami um, have a lot of similarities, except for I think one aspect, and that's the execution part of the smart contract. So the, in, in a lot of ways, they look like each other. But to me, I'm like, okay, let's look at the reasons behind that. And then the narrative connects the two. Milarepa, Mount Kailash, Ryoshi underli underlined so much of it. And as of recent, if you go to the Telegram, um, I feel like people are energized. There's a certain energy in the Telegram for Okanami. And we're seeing connections. But we're only going to accept and invite, for the long haul at least, Mid midterm possibly I don't know because we have to watch these things evol evolve. The Okanami community will only accept into ours those that are in the same vein as us that share the same DNA, which is why we've opened the door to Suka, which is why we've opened the door to Suzume. Okay, we're looking to connect, but you know, if if we think you're like exactly what Shaitoshi talks about the Shadow Cats. If we think you're trying to come in and steal our members from the community, if we think you're just there for bad faith reasons, okay, not truly to commune and, and collaborate and learn from one another, once we see bad faith, the second we see it, you know, you're out. We don't want that in the community. We want good, dedicated, faithful people and people who can work together in harmony on things with if if there is indeed this Ryoshi connectivity with multiple projects you know we should welcome them and they should welcome us because if we're all part of this big enterprise this vision then hey there's a reason to maybe be a part of all of them as much as you can or want to or see value in with that being said please tell everybody about the videos folks hit the button up you know get the get the notices on the future videos i'm going to keep covering this this is an important thing i need to present today naturally I, I appreciate your subscriptions but that gives you also a notice if you hit the bell please do so it's so easy to do to do a like or share or just a quick comment that helps the algorithm thank you all and have a great easter weekend who knows what will be um in the revelations to come here soon and also shanghai 412 April 12th. Heck, lots to watch. We'll see you next time.